program in the and I told you about about 10 by 6 o'clock type thing. Then that was here, and the Simon was here, I was angry with him, not angry with him, but sent him, I can't do that. This is not possible. And he was in the red pen. Yeah, and he said, oh, I can't do it. I said, yeah, I know you can do that, but I need you to do more. Okay, I'm in the room now. Power is another search for okay. I just got given a lot of painkillers because of my fiber. And they said this could be a wash down. I'm still a bit sleepy. Ain't that too bad. It's been increasing the pelvic area for Jason next on the offer. Just wake up very dry. Things are okay. All done, the nurse is going to give you a call. But I'm okay. Had my surgery removed. Apparently, my recovery was a little bit slow because they gave me a lot of pain meds. I have to put a horse down because of the old fibro. How are my babies? I need to see them. I hope your first surgery is going well. down some water because I'm wanting some water. Mouth is very very dry. Mouth dog will get had a sap a bit. <laughs> At least I know all the controls in this hospital. charged properly overnight. Bit of a sore throat because I have a sore mouth, getting tubes down, I've been scratching my throat up a bit. And a bit of a weird afternoon. I've just um, dozed on and off a lot. <laughs> I tried to put little bits of YouTube in between, but um, probably now is the most awake I have felt all day. I've just bought some dinner. I, I probably am hungry because <laughs> I just had that sandwich at lunch. It's um, hard to move. And Kevin just came in for a visit, so that was nice. He's charged my phone, <laughs> so I have my phone again. Had dinner, that was nice. A bit sore, but more fibro sore, which is the myth is just sort of expected so she's given me good fibro pain drugs she's ketamine actually and tramadol which i both take at home when well, no, i don't take ketamine at home take ketamine in the hospital so not too bad no one as bad as i thought i'd be got an unbum from sort of being in this position or slightly lower position on the back side but obviously when i go to sleep i'll try and drop <coughs> further back I haven't got the shoulder pain, the gas shoulder pain that I thought I would have. Hopefully that does not come because that's excruciating. And yeah, all things are good considering. It was nice to have a little visit from Kevin. So I'm just gonna go, for, and I've got my nas nasal things out too, that I did that, I just did that at home. Um, I was having dinner. So now that I'm eating as well as drinking, my oxygen levels back up. That was just because of the medication that I was given. Uh, I don't think I've got the to update you on. 
things are going pretty good and it hasn't been as horrible as I thought. Certainly had a very good anaesthetist, like she knew about small mouths and she's got a small mouth herself, so the mouth isn't doesn't feel scratched or anything like that. She's known how to deal with that. Just a bit croaky. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I can't cover my mouth, hold a phone and hold my stomach at the same time. <coughs> yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the experience so far. of the day and it probably has to be the least milky tea I've ever had because the soy milk went up to about there it was like not even full that was not even full so it's a very sad looking cup of tea but when I haven't had one all day I haven't had one since Tuesday morning it's really good <laughs> well, it's too dark for you to see me so I might as well look at the window <laughs> I just wanted to um uh, a little update. It's um, I think about five thirty in the morning. I'm gonna wait for a little while, just watching some YouTube. I ended up getting to sleep. I think about eleven thirty. I ended up asking to close the door because it was very noisy out there. Like every little noise or every loud noise would wake me up. So after they shut the door, that was better. And I put my music on too because the little leg compression things make a funny noise like a click noise before it goes. And I was trying to work what the noise was for ages and then I realized it was them. I thought it was someone like hammering something outside. So I put my music on, which is what I use when I travel up on a long plane flight anyway. So that was, it sort of associates with sleeping. So I think you can probably tell I sound a lot better. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. My fibro is really good actually this morning. It's, I haven't got any fibro pain, I've just got a bit of, Bit of um, ab not abdomen pain, but you know, pelvic pain as you would kind of expect, I guess. But um, oh, did the nurse bring me some panadol? I don't think she did. No, did she? I've got all the little things here. Yeah, she did. Okay, I'm gonna remember to take that. Um, but the main thing I wanted to say was I've just kind of taken the catheter out. So when I need to go to the bathroom, I'll come and take obviously the compression things off and. Help me up for the first time. And then apparently they, I don't know if they test, no, they don't want to collect your urine, I don't know, they're collecting it anyway for whatever reason. And I've got to have a bladder scan later on today, I guess. To, so it's there's nothing left in the bladder, so it must be after I go to the bathroom. I guess it's to make sure you can empty properly or something, I don't know. She didn't say why, she just told me what was happening. But yeah, I don't feel, I feel a lot better today than I did last night because I had a headache last night too. But honestly, this has been, so far, fingers crossed, a much better experience than I expected. And from what I'd heard online, I guess everyone's different. But I fully expected to get that really bad chest pain from the air. But I wonder if it's because it's a robotic surgery. None of the reports I watched or things on YouTube were about the robotic surgery, so I wonder if that makes a difference. Or the fact that it was a keyhole surgery and the robotic, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that's all for this morning while you look at this boring window. I didn't get to choose my breakfast today, so I don't know what I've got. I'm actually very looking forward. I actually look forward to hospital breakfast. Sultana brand. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that one. Mushrooms are good. I'll try and eat it though, because obviously it didn't oh they smell really good. Anyway, kind of also got a roll or something as well. So plenty to eat. 
That's your tiny bit of milk you get for your tea. But it's okay, but well, plus the extra. I've got dairy in it. I imagine your play has milk in it. Unless I do a dairy free version, but I don't even know. I'm not a yogurt person anyway, so I won't be eating that. Oh, and I've got a menu for the rest, that's good. Yeah, she doesn't mention the yogurt on there, so it may not be. Um... Oh, I was supposed to have a two fruits, I guess, rather than a yogurt. That's okay. I think I've got plenty of food here for me. For breakfast. I just realised I hadn't given you guys just realised I hadn't given you guys an update from this morning. What time is it? 9.30. Uh, doctor came in and said everything's looking good. Talk to me when I go home. So I haven't been out of bed yet still to go to the bathroom. But I've been drinking lots, so I'm surprised. Uh, I nearly finished the job they gave me, but hopefully soon. And that'll obviously be the test once I get out of bed, see how I'm feeling, see how that goes. <laughs> they just bought me some morning tea, so I've got to, I'll show it to you. Mm, I don't know where I left on the recording. Now I was recording and then I was recording. I think I was, gosh, I don't know. Did I, sh I don't know if I showed you that's my morning tea. I didn't even show you that. So tea, small bit of slow milk again, and a slice. And they've taken off my leg compression thingy, so my feet are free again. Uh, the doc, according to the doctor, came in. Kevin came in for a visit too, and I've just been I've got a little nice finger marks over my iPad. I've just been watching YouTube, watching some not home making videos. I don't like watching cleaning videos when I can't get clean, so I've just been watching some other ones that I've sort of been putting off because I'm watching my home making ones at home. So. It's been very nice way to spend the time. I did read a little bit last night when I couldn't sleep at one stage. I finished a book actually and started another one. I'll probably have to restart it though because I don't even know what I was reading, but yeah, mainly been YouTube time. Still a bit, haven't gotten up yet. And I've started to get a bit of gas pain. Not too bad. Nothing like other times that I had surgery. But as you can tell, I am burping, so that's good. Gas is coming out. <laughs> But yeah, I've got the bit um, just under my rib. But it's okay. I think when you live with chronic pain anyway, you know, and my fibro is good today, so that's good, thankfully. Probably that ketamine that they gave me yesterday has helped. But anyway, that's, um, I'm relieved I'm not dealing with fibro pain on top of this and she just said it would just feel like a period pain which is what it does feel like and it shouldn't be any worse than that so yeah this is um, going a lot better than I expected you can probably tell <clears throat> change of clothes I have been up been to the bathroom but apparently I need to produce more wee than I have before I can go home <laughs> seems really weird because you know, I've been drinking a lot <clears throat> That's a bit throaty. Anyway, uh, yeah, I went and did my I did a lap around. I'm going to try and do that every hour. It wasn't too bad, not too uncomfortable. I mean, a little bit uncomfortable, but no worse than sometimes when I go for a walk with the dogs if I get, you know, stomach issues or whatever. So, not too bad. Not too bad at a, a slow pace. And I got myself some kind of tea there and I've opened my bonsoi that I bought in. So, it was much nicer with the bonsoi. I just like a little cup. I meant to bring my keep cup and I just forgot, so I have to make do with their little ones. At least they um, are sustainable, apparently. No, most coffee cups aren't. These ones can be recycled. I can't read it, but maybe you guys can. That's pretty cool. My unique water-based coating means I can be disposed of in standard recycling. That is very cool. <clears throat> it certainly changed a lot in the years I've been coming to this hospital when I first come. They weren't doing things like that. You need a bottle of water in plastic, now it's a jug and a cup. So much better. I mean, I know hospitals, they can't, a lot of things can't be made anything but recycled. 
it can't make it any more eco-friendly, I guess, but it's good to see that they are doing what they can. I've got still got this, um, what do we call it? I don't know, the pain, the gas pain inside. A little bit more intense than it was. It's was what I vlogged this morning. Someone said it was, they found that the second day was a lot worse. So, got that. I don't think it's still as bad as when I had the first surgery I ever had up here and it was excruciating, but it's okay. We do, I'm doing really good and the walk, I'm doing so much better than I was expecting to be. So that is really good, but I just need to be very careful and not have to do things. So when I do go home, I won't be doing anything besides getting like a drink or something like that, go to the bathroom, walk around the house a bit. <laughs> I'll be very careful to take things easy. Just, just arrived, so I'm gonna have this and then go for another walk. So just vegetables and rice and some fruit, which I'll probably keep and have that. Some melon, I'll keep and have that bit later on. Not the most exciting lunch, but it's probably a good lunch to have post surgery anyway. I can't get my thing back in, my tray table back in. I think the nurse lowered the feed when I got out of it, and now I don't know how to get it back up higher. So, <laughs> I'll just be eating there. I haven't even showed you my room. Right, if you've seen my video at the hospital video before, it's pretty much the same, same hospital. I'm on the fourth floor though, and I'm usually on the third floor. Can't see too much today, it's very foggy and rainy. Go for a walk. I was going to grab the camera to show you some artwork. A bit of an update. I'm not sure I'm going to get out of here tonight. I've been drinking lots of water and tea, going for walks. Can't do it, <laughs> I need to do another one or two good weeks. So I don't know what the issue is. I did a scan of my bladder and it's not showing as being full. I think there's a little liquid going that I have drunk today. But um, I've got to try and go and I get to that point where I'm about to go and I can't go. So I don't know what that's about. So I'm still drinking my water because I feel like, I don't know, my stomach feels really full, like I can't really drink anymore. But I think about it's more my stomach feels full rather than my bladder. But like I had the catheter in overnight, everything was working up. Did one good wee all the other sporty. <sighs> so I'm gonna go another cup of tea, another glass of water. Oh, that's I just feel very full. I feel like I'm slodging in water. But anyway, keep going. Because I would like to be at home tonight, but I don't know what's going to happen. It's like 3.30 already or something like that. So, wish me luck. Definitely too um, braggy about not having these um, gas pains because they are so bad. One in the back of my shoulder at the moment is the worst one. And I've still got the one in my rib cage. Oh, so painful. Surgery's <laughs> my surgery spot's fine. Just these gas pains. Oh, oh dear. I might try and sit in the chair maybe and see. I just don't know how to get comfortable. When I'm walking around, it's they're all right. And it looks like the weather's really great out there, doesn't it? Still no joy? 
I've just done another skein and my blood is not showing as full and yet I've drunk a liter of water. So my stomach feels really full. Like they said we didn't move around like my blood is really low now. How weird, like they're still finding it. it's very low. Anyway, did the season, I'm gonna eat my dinner. I can still go home if I get to a wee. But I don't want to go home until like things are right. I think I could have kind of pushed him to let me go, but I don't know. I want to want things working properly before I go home. Tonight, more vegetables. And with her dinners are very weird. Like I like vegetables, it's, it's good, I guess. Oh, it's not like a curry actually. Oh well. I'm still in a lot of pain, so I decided to just sell in for the evening early. I have actually slept a little bit. I don't even know what time I came into bed. My arms were really slept, the gas pain. I'm going to kind of a position that's not too bad here. I managed to get some sleep, so that was good. So I'm going to try and go back to sleep, I guess. I just too much pain to do anything on YouTube or anything. I just, pain is quite unbearable. Anyway, I have a, I haven't had my pain meds or anything for tonight. I feel like being around about 8 o'clock, quite late. But I sort of prop myself up on the bed a little bit to try and find a good position to been. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you guys again tomorrow. Good news, <laughs> I did my wee. Had a nice big sleep. I can't remember when I last spoke to you, but I was in a lot of pain. Just after dinner, I mean, the shoulder and the gas pain. So it was a bit funny as well. Being like icky all over, actually. So. And then I sleep, woke up just before eight, just when they're coming to do your medications and ops and stuff before putting you to bed. And I went to the big wee. <laughs> and that was good. So I can go home in the morning. I probably could have gone home tonight, but I think Kevin's already asleep. So anyway, I'm all settled for the night and I think another night sleeping sort of upright will be good. Especially the pain I was in before my, it's all fine at the moment though. Uh, I'm a bit nauseous at the moment though. He did ask me about being nauseous before and I said, no, I'm fine, but I think I am nauseous now. Anyway, I've got some medications to have, so I'll be having them. And then I've just had my um, glycosane for blood clots prevention. Got some more stuff to have, and then I'll be going back to sleep. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. <clears throat> I'm feeling an awful lot better this morning. Strange after not being able to wee all afternoon yesterday, I was up regularly at <laughs> the night to wee. <laughs> so, that is so funny. <coughs> but um, once I got this, the pain, the, what do they call it, the gas pain to settle, it was a lot better. So I actually slept pretty well, I think, besides waking up all the time. I went straight back to sleep, so that was good. I just had my music on, my relax playlist so that was nice yeah but I'm um, feeling pretty decent I've been up already about three times to fill my little teacup because it's the tiniest teacup you guys know I have a big cup of tea and this is just dating me tiny so it's my third cup but yeah walking quite comfortably not fast but uh, I'm so much better than I thought I would be, so I don't think going home is going to be too bad. I should be able to do a lot of things for myself, like daily things. <laughs> and just get help with the bigger things, like the cleaning and stuff like that. But yeah, I would certainly be taking it easy the first few days when I go home. I don't want to um, overdo things or anything, so it'll be a lot of YouTube, YouTube watching. I've had a fun time catching up on a lot of YouTube. <laughs> Maybe when I go home, I'll get more into my reading as well. I'll be sitting doing some jigsaw, I think she'll be okay as well. Definitely taking it easy for this first week. But I'm looking forward to going home and seeing my puppies. 
We'll be having some good walks with the dog walker. So we organised her for four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Kevin can take them over the weekend when he's home. Uh, I think I could probably manage Bailey up the road and back. We'll, we'll just see though. Maybe after a few more days. But he's not too much effort, I don't think, to walk. Anyway, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and watch more YouTube. And yeah, I think Kevin's coming about nine-ish to pick me up. They said I could go about nine, so I might try and have a shower before that so I don't have to worry getting upstairs until this evening. Because that could be more challenging, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll be okay if I take it slow, but be good way to leave that to the evening if I have my shower here and freshen up and then I can just go home and head to the couch. <laughs> Do I look a little bit more presentable now? Still got bad lighting, <laughs> but I am already ready to go. I've had my shower, I feel a lot better after that. I've packed up and I'm just waiting until <clears throat> everything's organized. I think they said about 10, so I've got another hour. So I was gonna sit up, I'll just pop back in bed so I'm nice and comfy still. And I guess I'll just continue watching some YouTube until it's until they set me free. <laughs> It's a yucky day out there, so probably not a bad week to be stuck at home and not be able to do anything because it's got flood warnings and weather warnings and all sorts of ickiness this week. So definitely a bit easier to be stuck at home.